Both my parents are doctors, and so I grew up in that environment. You know, in school I had an interest in medicine. You saw my dad working. I think everyone, to some extent, aspires to what their parents do, you know, make them proud and all that stuff. So, you know, from the beginning, I think I was somewhat groomed to be a doctor, from, and uh, I just sort of went right into it. When people have cancer, there's three general ways to treat cancer. One is surgery, where they remove it. One is chemotherapy, where they give drugs through the veins. And one is radiation. And radiation uses high-powered x-rays to kill tumor cells. So when someone goes out in the sun and gets a tan, you know, they're getting x-rays through the sun. They tend not to be very powerful, so they only penetrate the skin. When we use radiation to kill cancers, we use big machines that have very powerful x-rays. And they can penetrate the skin and go into the body. And so, um, we use x-rays to kill tumor cells. Tumor cells divide very rapidly, the radiation kills those dividing cells, and then we kill the cancer. So a lot of what we do is about hitting the target with radiation while avoiding the normal structures around them. And so radiation is one of many different types of therapies used for cancer to kill cancer cells. And we often use radiation in coordination with some of the other specialties to kill cancer cells. Technology in our field is vital. And what that means in terms of how we deliver radiation is that we're able to deliver more precise doses, higher doses, to the tumor while minimizing dose to the surrounding normal structures that we don't want to get. So these machines allow us to basically be more accurate to kill the tumor while minimizing side effects. Some of the things that we use included intensely modulated radiotherapy. We use radio surgery. We also use high dose rate brachytherapy, implants, uh, and other techniques. So. We use all the modern machines and the modern techniques that are at our disposal at this time. Brachytherapy, the word derives from, I think, Latin, where brachy means close and therapy means uh, something therapy, so it's close therapy. So as opposed to traditional radiation where we, we aim beams from the outside in, this is almost like getting radiation from the inside out. And so what happens is, depending on the part of the body, we will put radiation sources right into the organ or the tumor. So using prostate as an example, if we wanted to treat prostate cancer, if we did traditional external beam radiation, the patient would be lying down on a machine, and then the beams of radiation would be going around him. Uh, if we did brachytherapy, the patient typically would be in the operating room where we would have access to his prostate, and we would stick needles um, into the skin, into the prostate, and then deliver the radiation right through those sources. I think it always benefits the patient when they have options. Uh, it also benefits them when you go to someone who can use all different types of modalities and uh, explain to them in some detail the risks and benefits uh, of, of doing one versus the other. Because every patient is different. The two patients may have the same disease, but they may, they may want to approach the situation differently. And so when you come to a place and you can offer both, uh, you can really you know, do what's called individualized care, where you can do what the patient wants and, uh, and as per what's appropriate for them. And I'll give you an example. If a, a patient has, uh, you know, their grandkids staying with them, you wouldn't want to imp implant a radioactive source in them because they would be giving exposure to kids. We wouldn't want to do that. If you had somebody with a busy work schedule who can't come to the radiation department every day, then doing an implant, which would only take a couple hours in one day, would probably work better for their schedule. And so being able to offer both types of therapies allows the patient to, to get good therapy while still being able to maintain their lifestyle. At Holy Cross, you know, we only have one facility. We're always available to the patients, and I don't have to tell them, well, I'm not going to be in here Tuesday afternoon. I'm at my other center. You know, I'm always here to help them. Um, everything is available on computers, so if they ask a question, they're wondering about their laboratories or their x-rays, we can sit down and, and, and go through with them everything that they need right then and there. So we have a, an excellent nursing staff, excellent equipment. We're here for them on a daily basis. We offer protocols and different trials. So aside from just treating patients with the best care, we can also try to be involved with adding to the literature in medicine to try to make their, you know, the care better in the future. And I think patients sometimes like that. You know, sometimes the standard therapy doesn't work well enough for patients and they want something better and we're able to offer that to them. I think with Holy Cross, you know, we're more than just a hospital. We have different, you know, spiritual care, nutrition care, social work, um, support staff. We have Relays for Life. We have, we're involved in the American Cancer Society. Uh, we reach out to the community. I think you can't really get that anywhere else except for Holy Cross.